talk about the, the state of this country. High inflation, seemingly every union wanting to go on strike. Yesterday, we were called the sick man of the world. I remember years ago, it was the sick man of Europe. Um, when Truss was in, and when I was growing up, the Tory party was about low taxes, cutting taxes, and not spending what you didn't have. We've got the highest tax rates in this country that we've ever got. That is also a massive turnoff. That's another thing that surely he needs to get a handle on. But you've got dour Jeremy Hunt, who shows no inclination to be cutting taxes, because that is what people want, isn't it? Well, I certainly believe that it is. Um, I certainly hear from Rishi that that's his um, medium to long term intention. I don't think we are in any way the, the sick man of anywhere. I think if you look around the world, um, they are uh, most uh, modern economies are suffering with the same challenges related to all sorts of international events um, everywhere. We've seen in France this week, you know, national strikes in France. It is not just the UK by any stretch of the imagination. It's a global problem. But you're absolutely right that we have to get to a place where we can um, lay out a better economic situation, a better forecast for people, where we can talk about keeping more money in their pockets, where we can talk about growth and investment. Um, investment is one of his uh, five priorities for the year. I could talk to you for hours and hours about all the things we've got going on in my part of the world in terms of growth and investment. You're absolutely right. That's where we need to get to. But I think it's also fair to say that given the, the turmoil of, of the autumn, politically as well as uh, economically. It's important, and Rishi uh, has been right, to come in and kind of steady the ship, to kind of draw a line and say, look, we need to start from that stable basis, um, hopefully, uh, with that uh, implementation of all of that. And it is karma, right? We're not seeing the volatile uh, markets and things that we were in the autumn. Then you can get to a position where we can start to move in that uh, inherently conservative direction. That's where I want to be. I want to be reducing taxes uh, and helping people have more freedom over how they spend their money. Ste 